Welcome to another video. In this video, we'll be finding the measures of central tendency and variation, but this time using the descriptive statistics and the data analysis at in, in Excel. Now, in our previous video, which is the descriptive statistics part one, we already found the mean, median, mode, variance, standard deviation, and so on using the functions in Excel that allow us to do that. But instead of finding them individually, if I have to find all of these, I can do it with one step using the data analysis tool pack and especially the descriptive statistics. So if you haven't seen the video on how to add the data analysis, please go do that. And once you add the data analysis, the data analysis will be under the data ribbon. So we're going to go to the data ribbon and you will see that we have the data analysis over here. So if we click on it, it's going to bring in the data analysis window, which has everything we need to do in statistics. And we're going to be looking at most of these options in other videos. Right now, we're looking for descriptive statistics, which is the option over here. So once we select it, and you click OK, it's going to bring the descriptive statistics window. Of course, it's going to ask you to input the range for your data. So we're going to go and select it, press Enter, and it's going to ask you if they are grouped by columns or rows. Now, the data are set up in a column option, so that's why we're going to use the columns here, but if you have your data as entered in cell after cell in a row format, then you have to select the rows. The other thing that you have to be careful with is labels in the first row. If you selected the label in the first row, then you have to select this. Otherwise, it will include this in the calculation and that will lead to errors. The other way, if I don't select the first row and I said labels in first row, then the first option or the first cell will be considered as labeled and it will not be considered in the calculation and that will lead to wrong result. So here I need the output range. You can specify where you want it in your worksheet or you want it somewhere here. So I want it on the same sheet to compare it with the result we have here. I'm going to go and select this cell to start the output end. and the descriptive statistic gives you the summary statistics, which is most of these values here. You can have the confidence level for the mean. This is something we're going to talk about in another video. And also you can get the kth largest and the kth smallest, as we did over here. So just for comparison purpose, I would choose the same thing. I want the third largest and the fourth smallest. Just clicking OK, and you will see that you will get all these results that we did in the other video. The mean is the same, median, mode, standard deviation, variance, the range, minimum, maximum, largest, and smallest. The other thing that the uh, descriptive statistics gives us is the skewness in the data. And as you can see here, it gives you a numerical value, which is usually between 0 and 1. If the value is zero, that means there is no skewness and the data is what we consider a symmetrical bell-shaped distribution. If the value here is positive, that means the distribution is skewed to the right or positively skewed. If it's negative, it means it's skewed to the left or negatively skewed. And of course, the greater the value to one, the higher the skewness in that value or in that uh, distribution. So uh, this gives us a clear picture of everything we need to find in one step instead of doing it using all these values. Now you might say why can't we do this all the time? Why do we need to look and know this function? And the answer is what if you want to find only the mean or only the standard deviation? You can just use the formulas here instead of getting all this information which you don't need. Thank you for watching and
Now we have two options to find the measure of central tendency and variation.